how incredible, I mean, I know it was incredible, but like, how did it happen, the whole thing? Long story short, yep. um, I was- That Hills Subaru, no time like now to get a new Subaru, guys, because from now until the end of March, which isn't that long, it's 10 days, 11 if you count the 31st, which I don't even know if it exists. I don't remember that old rhyme from school, but now until the end of March, it's Subaru's A Lot to Love sales event, and the number one volume Subaru dealer in Missouri is Sunset Hills Subaru. They've been that way for five years straight. They've been voted best new car dealer in St. Louis by SDL today, and that's not an accident. It is a cool place to go to buy a car. They make the car buying experience stress-free. It is pet-friendly. They got two dogs you can pet in the lobby if you don't have your own. And they got the best snacks in town, man. If you go into their lobby, we're not just talking about popcorn here, even though their popcorn is the best popcorn I've ever had. They got all sorts of snacks. They make you feel at home, and they make you feel chill, and they make the car buying experience easy. They never charge over MSRP like some shady dealers charging thousands over sticker. They save people money compared to the competition. I'm talking about real dineros here, not a couple hundred bucks. You're not throwing in a clear coat. They're saving you thousands of dollars. And you can save even more right now because it is Subaru's a lot to love. Subaru's a lot to love sales event until the end of March. So don't wait. If you've been thinking about a new car for the spring, hook it up now. Go to sunsethillsubaru.com, sunsethillsubaru.com. All right, first big summer show of 2018. We've got 30 Seconds to Mars and Wellesley Arms and Walk the Moon and K Flay. How are you? I'm doing great. It's really great to see you. Uh, I got to tell you this, though, uh, it kind of changed. My uh, heart rate spiked. Yeah, we're going to have yeah, to give you Learn's heart monitor. I was going to say, you're in Learn territory right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Learn is over here loving life like I am. No. We're, we're down in cookies. We're down in fries. No, I know. And, and, I, and I feel bad because Lion's Choice people were in here as yeah. I'm kind of scrambling to oh, yeah. and, get the station back and up and running. May we mention that this is the biggest delivery I've ever seen. We have every type of sandwich they make. Yep. Tons of fries. Mm -hmm. Every sauce. Every uh, seasoning thing. And for Moon's birthday, they delivered. <laughs> It's obviously your favorite. Oh. And they reached out to me yesterday. They're like, hey, we want to bring something by, and we just love them so much. They so bought everything. I'm glad you decided not to say no this time. Heart. Yeah. Thank and you so much. that was very much. sweet of them. Yeah. Very yeah. sweet. And they gave you the Creve Court location, so. Mm. Thank you, Lauren. Good. Thank you, Lies Joyce. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget they, the bag full of cookies. I know. Rafe got to see me naturally dance. I just hate ate a sandwich. It was sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all did. <laughs> hate eight. I just hate eight a sandwich. <laughs> That's every sandwich so I've good. ever eaten. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't just, I'm, I'm, ups, I'm a little upset. I'm, a, a, I'm upset that nobody is here to help. I agree. I attack my sandwiches like they're my enemy. Like the station, you know, behind the, the, the scenes here, like uh, my, my computer system went haywire. And I had no control over what was happening. Right. And uh, I had to reset the computer. There's 4,000 wires uh -huh. underneath this desk here. Nothing's labeled. So yeah. I don't know what... And then Lauren comes back here. She starts uh, turning stuff off. Well, this seems to happen. <laughs> she made I, somebody, will, uh, I apologize hey, for that. You made executive decisions. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I know who will spring into action in an event. Oh, yeah. She oh. will. Sure, her fight or flight was fight this time. Hey, somebody come here and disarm this bomb. You know, we're done. We're done for. <laughs> like, <laughs> got the blue. Might right, as well. Right like, now. I'll pull this pin. Is right. It, all right, is it the like red wires or the blue wire? You're just pulling all the wires. I jiggled the wire before I pulled it. Right I now, thought I, I had like the right one. We all have a like, like a, a perfect we all have a perfect grasp on exactly what every wire does now. And this will be fine. It will stay in our brains no. until the day before Till tomorrow. this happens again. Yeah. Well, right. All right, listen, we got some work to do here. And then we'll forget it all. It's March Music Mayhem on 1057 the point, okay? <laughs> it's a big deal. It is. Okay, so we got sixty four bands going at it. Which band will reign supreme? Who will be the March Music Mayhem champion of 2024? Now, we're in round number two. And yes, we have been blessed. We have been blessed with having a matchup during this year radio program. Right. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Now, if you're going to vote in anything this year, this is probably the thing to vote for. <laughs> this is it. This is the only thing. Rock the vote. I mean, mm -hmm. vote the rock. Vote or die, as uh, somebody once said. Right. Vote or die. So it's Avenged Sevenfold versus the Foo Fighters. Based on your votes, based on your very important votes, which you could vote via the 1057 The Point mobile app or on the website. I'm going to play a song from each band. You have a chance to vote. Voting will, uh, will cease 10 minutes before 10 o'clock. It's about the band, not the music, right? It's about the band, not the music. Okay. So Foo Fighters versus Avenged Sevenfold. I'll start with a Foo song. 
And the winner of this matchup will, will face off in the next round against Allison Chains or Weezer. Don't know. Oh, hmm. boy. That next matchup is happening with Donnie at 11. So we'll start. Oh, I got to play this part now. Do this here first. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Yes. Now it's official. Foo Fighters versus Avenged Sevenfold. Who will it be? <laughs> Eat your roast beef. Okay. And turkey. And turkey. The Rizzuto Show. I'm so excited to be back here at Point Fest 2021. And for the very first time in person after multiple FaceTimes, Josh from Bad Flower Dude. You're really Hello. here. You're a real person. You are a real I person. I thought maybe you were like a computer generated deep fake. You know what I mean? I mean, I do feel like an avatar most days of the week, so I think that's and the you, case. And you look like an avatar in person. <laughs> like you look like an avatar version Thank of somebody, you. somebody's real self, but that's your actual self. Thank you. That's exactly what I was yeah. going for. First and most important conversation or uh, question of the conversation, how are you? Just vibe check. How are you feeling today? How are the emotions? I'm it's Point Fest. Good. I'm, I've been so stressed out. Um, we're preparing for our headlining tour. Our album comes out in five days. Mm -hmm. There's just like so much that, that has to happen around that. And uh, I stupidly take on so many things on my own and I don't ask for help. I'm like, no, I want to do this. I want to do the lighting for the tour. I want to design the say I want to do all this stuff. And then go time is happening. I'm like, I, I only have two hands. I, I, I have to sleep a little bit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and so I'm in that phase right now. So I'm even right now, I'm like, Thinking about a million different things. I'm trying to stay focused on our interview and what we're going to talk about. Yeah. But like, what else? Do I right have to now, program? you're already. What did I miss? What, what, what's what's going to mess up on stage? What do I have to do? Well, I heard Is you guys sound check already. Yeah. So the sound check went great. Sounded like. It did. So you feel prepared there? That's good. Yeah. What, is somebody taking care of Maggie? Speaking of your dog, is yes. your dog taking yes, care of? Yes. My dog is taking. Care okay. Of. Absolutely. But good. I still think about it. Right. Like before COVID, you were able to take Maggie out on the road a little bit, right? A little. I took her out for a little bit when we toured with Shinedown, actually, um, because the the. The type of show made sense for it. It was a little bit more relaxed for us. We were like quick 30 minute set, big. It wasn't like indoor stages. It was all, all outdoor amphitheaters. So she could just like run around and. Yeah. So you have been on tour with Shinedown. Yes. You guys are buddies. Um, I really feel this energy coming from them. Uh, uh, just professionals been doing this forever. And then seeing you guys on that tour together, did it feel like a kind of like, hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the party. Uh, come on in and join us. Did they have that kind of attitude? Yeah, they're they're the most like warm, welcoming polite people. I mean, truly, I, like, of any band that we've ever toured with, I've never experienced that level of, like, hospitality from everybody and, right. and like, respect from everybody. And that's, like, the band members, their crew, everyone. Uh, it actually was, it was our first, like, really big tour yeah. that we ever did, like, supporting, and uh, it taught us how we should behave. Not that we've necessarily implemented that, like, <laughs> we're, we're still a little sassy and figuring it out, but, um, yeah, it did, they you know, did set the bar. We'll let that sass separate the bad flower from the shine down. but I absolutely love hearing that there's, like, kind of a brothership vibes, and also to a new band to get to be on a big tour, and now you're about to turn around and do the same thing, because it's your headlining tour, and you're having Teenage Wrist, I believe, is yeah. going to be on tour with you. I love those dudes. They've been through St. Louis. Did you have a hand in picking them? Yes, we the did. Tour? It's Teenage Wrist and Dead Poets Society. Oh, so good. Yeah, two really, really great bands. Um, we, we knew we had Dead, Dead Poets Society for a while. They're just like, those guys are our buddies, and we, want, we always want to take them out. Um, and they're such a good band. They just deserve an audience. Yeah. It's like a tragedy for them not to be playing in front of an audience. So we're like, well, we can help with that. Um, and we just discovered Teenage Wrist. A bunch of people were like submitted to our tour. And uh, yeah, I just fell in love with their songs. I also think you guys are going to have a good vibe connection as well, yeah. which I think is really, I think so. really important. New record coming out. At this point, everything's done for you, right? Except for just enjoying it once it drops on Friday the 24th, right? Uh, there will be no enjoyment. There will be no, there's just nothing but no, stress and worry. No, it's going to be all stress and work. I don't even know that I'm going to have time to look at social media, which is probably a good thing. I don't yeah, need to where look. Where have you been? You have been a little bit absent from the social world. You are one of my favorite social media stars as far as the rock and roll world goes. Oh, you thank always, you. You always let us in on the process. I mean, you let us watch you create the lighting setups for some of your shows, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, but you've been taking a break. Tell uh, me about it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing so much of the actual thing that I don't have time. I don't even think to like, oh, I should let our fan base know that this is what I'm doing. You're going to need to hire somebody something. to do that for you, I Yeah, think. but then nobody would like that, though. I mean... Well, you want to do it? I mean... You want to come on to yeah, and be my yeah. social media person? Get me person? out of here. Yeah, I'll TikTok um, you all day. I just don't think... I don't think people would enjoy our social accounts if it wasn't, like, 
the way you're that, right. I don't know. I, I maybe it's they genuine would. the way that you yeah. do it though. I think there's like a fan base for Bad Flower that come to the shows, and then there's like a separate fan base just for like Bad Flower socials and the, the just the dumb things. Dude, I your say Twitter all the time. is its own other world. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how I became that guy. I, I don't it. remember ever being him, and then all of a sudden, like this is just the shit you say now. I think it's great. I think your audience really relates to it too, especially since most of us grew up now with social media and whatnot. Yeah. Is there anybody you're excited to see perform today? Outside, obviously you've seen Shine Down, but yeah. is there anyone you're looking forward to seeing? Grandson, always, yeah. always. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I. It was good to catch up with him. I caught up with him and and Zach from Shine Down and uh, realized that I haven't seen these people in a very very long time. And the, Zach and I were close. I mean, we still are. You guys look like brothers. To we me. used to you hang. Really yeah, brothers we used to hang. Another mother. We text and, and and talk all the time, and then just I was like, hey, dude, I haven't seen you in like. Almost two years. And, and you're reunited what, here yeah. under our roof at Point Fest. Yep. That's really special. It's yeah. really special finally getting to meet you in person, too. This yeah, is very cool. likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Well, thanks for joining us in the Four Brothers Mead Lounge. We're going to have some uh, bottles of deliciousness for you on the way out. For me. Get ready to rock out with Bad Flower. New album out uh, Friday the 24th. This is the end of the world. This is how the world this ends. This is how the world ends. Same thing. Same thing. Pretty much the exact same thing. End the world. Pap paps be good to your daughters. That's how you know to be good. Cause some will turn to mommies when others will be daughters and dads. That's how your brothers can be mothers too. That was John Mayer, Daughters. Joined by Seether. Gentlemen, how are you? It's great to see you, and thank you for being here with us. Uh, you know, the first thing I want to bring to your attention, and I'm sure that you guys don't keep track of this because you have way bigger things to do, but this is your sixth point fest, all right? Out of the 30-some-odd awesome. that we've done, you've done six of them. Not to mention birthday shows. Christmas shows. While other rock bands have kind of gone by the wayside, you guys have just been a constant core artist for us. I was looking last night, we have played like 26 different Seether songs in the history of our career, you know, in your career Thanks, and man. our career as well. You have just been such an important part of the station as the alternative format goes left and we stay rocking. You guys yeah. have been a really big part of that. And I just, as the music director of the radio station, just wanted to say thank you. And I'm sorry, Sean, if you're That's getting fine. eaten alive by uh, something I'm, over I'm, there. I'm making my acquaintance with the local wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, have, I mean, you guys are celebrating 20 years this year. Is it, yeah. th that's a really impressive feat. How, you know, many bands that have been successful still don't make it 20 years. How have you guys been able to do that by... What do you got there, cookie? Yeah, see? You got cookies yeah. there, Moon? You see? The greasier the, <laughs> on the back, the better. Actually, we're, going, we're going through. Uh, I, there's like uh, 15 cookies, oh, and I went through the dude. back, and I, and I pointed. Now, you see this? Uh, you see the sweat? Sweat stain. Oh, this means is it's a, a sweaty cookie. Mm. She said, you know, press. And I was like, yeah, there's a press test, but you always flip the back. And you see, has it sweat through the bag? If we get it. You love Lion's Choice cookies. If it, if it sweats through the bag a little like, bit, hey, it's you a want good a sweaty cookie. I don't want a cookie. All right. You've you been a good boy. You need a cookie? Cause March they're... Music Mayhem, guys. <laughs> Rafe has got his mouth full with something. March Music Mayhem, Rafe. <laughs> sweats through the bag, baby. <laughs> 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 Foo Fighters versus Avenged Sevenfold. You heard of the Foos. You heard of the Avenged guys. Uh, vote for, who, for you Foos. Think, yeah. who you think should move on to the next round. <laughs> to face off against either Allison Chains or Weezer. Donnie will have that matchup at 11 a.m. It kind of felt like uh, rank and technical college versus Duke a little bit, but who knows? Dang. That's why they play the game. That's why, that's why we play. That's, dude, that's why it's mayhem. That's right. You never, you never know. Life's crazy. <laughs> Life is crazy. Swept through the bag, baby. <laughs> All right, vote on the website or on the Point app, and uh, we'll tell you who won. Uh, before we get the hells out of here. <clears throat> hey, listen, it's like the one time a year we play music. It's cool. This is my favorite type of sport is March Music Mayhem. Uh -huh. Wow. Some of the email goes, I love how Riz said we're not playing music and then immediately played music. <laughs> no, but that was, no, I don't know what Lerm was talking about. So, guys, <laughs> there's something called a crash disc. Okay, so if the station goes out of control, yes. we have something we could just pop in and just music starts playing. Yeah. 
which I didn't need that. That's what Lerner was referring to, correct? Yes, that's just play exactly music. Right. But just play hey, music. Yeah. No, but we could we could talk. You know, listen, okay, we hey. could talk. I was just trying to give you a resource, pal. Ironically, we were gonna play music after the break, and we're all good now. All is well. Engineering came in here and <laughs> got we're that. fine. Everything's we're good. We're fine. Now. Everything's fine. Woo! Everything's fine. I got my sweaty cookies. Life is good. Sweet I'm like cookie. the meme with the dog with the coffee cup and everything's on fire yep. around. Like everything's fine. Yeah. And I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing great too. Fine. International Happiness Day. And let me say this this isn't the last surprise today that you're going to have. So. You're kidding. Oh, there's more? It's oh, right around and the corner. More. Oh, okay. Literally right around the corner. Oh, the disaster thing, the IT disaster, that was a setup? That, that was, was not a setup. That was not a setup. That was not a setup. You guys are so cute. All right, 924. It is Wednesday, traffic and weather. One last time. Yes. Moon coming at you. Traffic brought to you by Worldwide Technology Raceway. The biggest race of 2024 is Sunday, June 2nd. Time to lock in your NASCAR Cup Series tickets now at www.raceway.com. Delays 70 eastbound between, uh, looks like... 370 in Veterans Memorial Parkway. Average speed down to about 15 miles an hour. Your point forecast dry, mostly sunny and mild. High of 57 right now. Oh, I don't know. It's 50 at the point studio. Oh, uh, yeah, I got 50. Hey, guys. Uh, it's Lux and Jacoby from Pop Roach. What's up? How are you doing? Uh, well, I mean, I'd like to say I'm doing... Well, I mean, I'm doing good. I'd just much rather be playing a rock show tonight. I would much rather be watching you play a rock Same. show. This is, this is such a bummer. I know, very much so. I, we just got the news like an hour ago, and I was like, I mean, what am I going to do? We, you know, we, you know we did all we I'm, could. I'm here to rock. I'm here to do my gig, you know what I'm saying? And it's mother, mother Nature is just not having it today. But so. uh, the good news is outside of being here for Point Fest, you guys have a lot of stuff. Quality health. Uh, Moon, hey, dude, continue eating your cookie. It's your day, buddy. I Enjoy. Will. <laughs> I will. I will. I'm talking to the fellows here. Uh, guys, uh, when you wake up in the morning, how you feeling? You feeling good? You feeling sluggish? Are you ready to take on the day? Well, as we get older, and Moon could attest to this, he's he's now an old man, 43 That's right. years old. 43, yes. Uh, you know, Hormones change. Maybe you're not the same man you were in the gym or in the bedroom. This could be a sign of low testosterone. Yeah, I had something huge hit. Um, well, I guess it's been six or seven years now. And Mantelli was actually the one that found it with a with a blood draw. Thank goodness they were looking for it because I wouldn't have even been looking for it with my primary care physician. Able to find it. It definitely shifted my body, the thing that was going on. So I needed mentality to make sure that all of my numbers, not just my testosterone, was at 100%. So I could look, feel, and perform my very best. And that's exactly what they do. Maintenance. That's all. Listen, I just want to be my best. That's all I want. Now, mentality could be the TRT therapy. Could be peptide therapy. Could be semaglutide. I don't know. Personalized treatments, but you got to make the appointment. Mentalityhealth.com. That's mentalityhealth.com. Rizzuto show, and I'm standing here underneath the beautiful Hubbard sign. This is our time to uh, make sure that your yard is maintained. And I'm talking about commercial and residential, um, uh, and residential and commercial. If you own any sort of property and you got trees, call River City Tree Service. Make sure that your trees are healthy. You want your property to be, uh, you know, prospering this year. And spring is a perfect time to do so. Also, a perfect time to do so because if you call River City Tree Service or you go to the website and get a service, any service. And tell them Moon sent you 15% off. 15% off any sort of tree service. Maybe it's maybe it's some cleanup you need. Maybe it's some maintenance. Maybe it's some uh, some uh, tree pruning or, or trimming because you got some branches hanging over roofs or driveways or parking lots or whatever it is. You want to make sure that your property looks and, uh, and, and is as healthy and amazing as possible. River City Tree Service has you covered. 2008 is when they started here in the area, and they've been serving the area ever since. Top-notch, state-of-the-art equipment, incredible, incredible staff. River City Tree Service. Check out the website. Tell them Moon Century. You get 15% off anything you need right now. RiverCityTreeService.com. 
Time to save some green. Go visit my good friends over at Mount Top Motor Company out there in Troy. They have an incredible lineup of cars, trucks, SUVs. In fact, you can see the whole, whole inventory right now at mounttopmotors.com. And to top it off, no payments for 90 days. They have some of the best financing around, all kinds of ways to save some money. And what is amazing about them is they're just down to earth. It's a no pressure environment. So you're gonna find the right car. You're gonna enjoy the process because they're amazing. So aim higher, go to Mount Top Motor Company. It's mounttopmotors.com. Joined by Seether. Gentlemen, how are you? It's great to see you and thank you for being here with us. Uh, you know, the first thing I want to bring to your attention, and I'm sure that you guys don't keep track of this because you have way bigger things to do, but this is your sixth point fest, all right? Out of the 30 some odd that we've done, you've done six of them. Not to mention birthday shows, Christmas shows. While other rock bands have kind of gone by the wayside, you guys have just been a constant core artist for us. I was looking last night, we've played like 26 different Seether songs in the history of our career, you know, in your career Thanks, and man. our career as well. You have just been such an important part of the station as the alternative format goes left and we stay rocking. You guys yeah. have been a really big part of that. And I just, as the music director of the radio station, just wanted to say thank you. And I'm sorry, Sean, if you're That's getting fine. eaten alive uh, by something I'm, I'm, over there. I'm making my acquaintance with the local wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, have, I mean, you guys are celebrating 20 years this year. Is it, yeah. th that's a really impressive feat. How, you know, many bands that have been successful still don't make it 20 years. How have you guys been able to do that by, by your account? Um, I think we've just basically written stuff that we want to hear. You know, like, I, I, I love a lot of bands. I love a lot of music styles and a lot of different types of music. But um, whenever we write albums, we just stay. I you know what's great about being a dude? Now, I'm not one. I'm a chick. But um, the fact that there's places like Victory Men's Health for you. They are designed for the dudes of St. Louis where you can go and essentially get all of your health concerns taken care of. So um, maybe there's a vitamin deficiency that's going on with you. Um, maybe you have been wanting to get in better shape, you're wanting to lose weight, but you don't wanna lose energy. You wanna have all of the nutrients that you need to have compacted into your body so you can get to those goals. Victory Men's Health can help you with that. The red light therapy, peptide therapy, even sexual health, which, you know, yes, none of us want to admit if there's something going on in the bedroom, but uh, the sooner you can take care of that, the sooner that that good sex can be coming into your life again, right? Victory Men's Health can help you out with everything I'm discussing with you on the radio right now. There are four locations, O'Fallon, Illinois, O'Fallon, Missouri, Town & Country. That's where you'll see Ray Williams pop in from time to time and the brand spanking new location in Sunset Hills. Online for you right now. Get that blood test done. Let's figure things out. VictoryMensHealth.com. It's 105.7 The Point. Donnie Fandango backstage, way back Point Fest, Goldfinger, and we got everybody. The How you whole guys doing? Band. It's great to have you. Uh, <laughs> sweating, dude. So a bombing campaign of sandwiches for Moon for uh, his uh, for his birthday today. So it started with Jimmy John's. Uh, yeah. Apparently, I'm a fan of sandwiches and cookies because we got a lot of them. Jimmy right, John's. Started with Jimmy John's. You guys gave morning. me one of those uh, boat bumpers. Okay, then we had Lion's Choice drop off food. Yeah, yummy. Tons of food. Tons of food. Including that was sweaty, insane. Including sweaty cookies and a hoodie and a bunch of. Uh, oh, you got a hoodie? Oh, dude, I got a hoodie. You, I got a shirt. I got an you ornament. See a gift basket? It's no. amazing, dude. I got I got glasses. I got uh, I got coffee mugs. I got shirts. What, what what would you like? Would you like a magnet? I'll take a shirt. Okay. Aw. <laughs> Your tickets over of his birthday? What I know. Doing? He's not going to wear it. What? Oh. Oh, yes, I will. Well, I already have a few. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, brother. Might not be your size. Oh, what is that? A medium? That's a medium. Oh, that's way past that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. And, uh, hey, thanks to uh, Vivola's for bringing sandwiches now. Yeah. Yeah, Vivola, the trifecta. Yeah, Vivola Express. Here to add on more calories for me. God, Thank you I guys. love hey, those sandwiches too. That's cool. I yep. love a volus. Love a volus. Mine just, has my name on it. I was just talking about them last week. What'd you get? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Everything yeah. they make is everything's amazing. great. If you go to Vivola's and you you have no um, restrictions, if you will, and you're Up not Maryland Heights. and you're not sure what to get, just say give me the masterpiece. And they do something different each day depending on what they got, <laughs> new stuff that's Dude. come in, or whatever they're feeling. They they are creative folks. And they will make you the masterpiece of the day. Well, you special ordered Italian sesame bread just for your birthday oh, to yeah. put on our sandwiches. Are you serious? And what did I say? Whoa. When I went over there, I said, look at that bread. South that's, City that's bread. That's the South City bread. South City bread. I've ever seen yeah. Yeah. 
What a day. what'd you get, a veggie? Be a birthday I got a veggie. every day. What yeah, for real. Hers weighed a lot when I pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> they were really sweet. They reached out. They're like, hey, we know you're off the bird. You're not eating cows or pigs anymore. And so, um, yeah, I, they gave me a veggie. And so every vegetable that's ever been known to man oh, is nice. on this sandwich. It is a fatty boom it baddie. Look huge. at that thing. Did they yeah. cut that in half? Let me see Their cross section. Let me see cross sandwich. Cross, cross section. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. What's the cross section? Let me cross section. That's good, man. That's three meals. It's super Look good. Look at that. Whoa, we. You know, last time I was there, they had some weird, um, like, spicy cheddar thing that no, they had just it, gotten in that day. I want to see the cross section of it. He wants to see the the split. I want to see the show split. him the half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to see that? Yes, yeah. that's what he wants Whoa. to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. That is she's all up in it. <laughs> <laughs> she's all up in it. You ruined it by eating it. Thank you, Lions Choice. Thank you, Vivola, and thank you, The Riz Show. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sandwich Mark. City. Sandwich City. This, uh, yeah. Well, I love it, dude. This is a sandwich city. This uh, the studio was uh, Sandwich City Central. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the epicenter of Sandwich City. Was this studio right here this yeah. this morning? I got in, the burps. In between sandwiches, Damn. we sandwiched in a complete meltdown. Yes, which was nice. We're good, though. Mm -hmm. We're the show's good. got it all. We got it all today. We're all good. Mission Control. That helped. Um, People keep coming by the studio too and asking if we have other Lions Choice sandwiches. Yes, they're in the kitchen. Go grab one. Who came by the studio? M multiple people. Well, they can and, stay the hell out of here. And Video Joy let an audible scream out when he heard that there was uh, he did? some cheddar ready for I him. heard it running down the hallways. <laughs> All right, let's uh, real quick do some sports. All right, Moon, what do we got? Sparts, brought to you by DraftKings at Casino Queen. Call to book your Bracket Bash watch parties at DraftKings Sportbook now. Layla Anderson, the optimistic disease-fighting kid who inspired the 2019 Blues during their run to the team's first championship, just won her own cup. Layla is now 15. She battled uh, hemophagocytic lymphocytosis. A rare and potentially fatal autoimmune, uh, autoimmune disease that was isolated in her brain. She underwent 10 weeks of chemotherapy. She received a bone marrow transplant in January of 19, the same month that the Blues, at the bottom of the standings, began their miraculous run to the playoffs. Layla now plays hockey, and the Blue Note Cup tournament, hosted by the Blues and Missouri Youth Hockey Division, is an annual showcase of the region's top youth hockey squads. Riz knows all about it. Layla's team, the Chesterfield Lady Falcons, won the freaking cup wow. in the Bantam Three. Three Division. And I'm, I'm sure you're reading from Ben Hoxman's article. Yeah, the team the they beat in the finals was actually a co-ed team. Um, it, uh, amazing. Just what what a story. Yeah. Holy yeah, cow. And she's a cool chick, and congratulations to so Layla and the entire and the team. Yeah. Chesterfield Lady Congrats, Falcons Layla. team. Yeah. So amazing. Um, there's a whole write-up on it and so many more details up on the Post-Dispatch uh, website. Yeah, Ben Hodgman did a good, good, a good a, job on that. A article. great article. Uh, three third-period goals helped to get the Blues some points against one of the worst teams in the league on Sunday. Blues got a 4-2 victory uh, over the Ducks, and then they had miscues and penalties, and they granted the high-flying avalanche a bunch of extra help. Last night, as the Blues' four-game win streak ended, they lost 4-3. Mahomes and fellow Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey are opening up 1587 Prime, a steakhouse in Kansas City, Missouri, named after their jersey numbers. The champion's uh, upcoming restaurant is a partnership with Noble 33. They talked about how they love this, whatever it is, steakhouse group. Well, you know you've made it when you open up your own steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rem now, remember, and Mahomes owns, like, what, 30 wa Whataburgers mm -hmm. and, and some other stuff? But so he's in the, he's in the game. I always, thought, I always thought that was... In the twilight of your career, or when you retire, and yeah. you open up a steakhouse. Get yeah. it while it's hot. Get no, to it. They're awesome. going out of order. Get no, they're ah. just you got to pack it all in. So like Pujols uh, had his here while he was active, right? Yeah, yeah. strike yeah, while the iron's hot. And how's that doing? He gone. Ooh, how's the steakhouse doing? He retired it. All right. Well, fifteen eighty seven prime. Uh, we're gonna keep it up, guys. It's International Happiness Day, not International. Well, I'm all about it, dude. <laughs> international Reality. I'll day. go there. <laughs> international <laughs> Reality Day is every other day. That's something I want when I'm, I don't want it to be a thing I worry about making money on. I just want to be, it's like, that's the thing you get is like a little. That's your toy. Your little hangout. Yeah, it's your toy. No, you open up the steakhouse it's after you retire and you need something to do. Mm -hmm. Like you retire at, you know, the age of 35, where normally people retire. You're retiring 30 years earlier than right. everybody else. Dang. To become... You need something to do. So yeah. I'm gonna open up a steakhouse, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put on a, I'm gonna put a t-shirt on and a sport coat over it. Cute. And I'm gonna walk around. Italian bullhorn. Like, hey, I'm gonna glad hand. Hey, welcome to uh, uh, what's what's, <laughs> what's the name of the place? 
1587 Prime. Welcome to 1587 Prime. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. It's where you put your. It cooked all right. It's where you put your golden gloves and your golden balls and your golden whatever. <laughs> Is it cooked all right? That's what you should do in Florida. Yeah, man. Dude. When you go to Florida, that's you should open up Rizzo Sizzle. Yeah. In Florida, dude. And you got your MBAs Rizzles. there. Your little your yeah, plaques. My, my plaques. And the Jerry Sandusky Memorial uh, plaque <laughs> yeah. is up there. Can you do the thing where people put dollars and sign dollars and put it all over? No, that's, <laughs> oh, that's not a cool classic. Look. Oh. Well, 1587. Riz, Riz Sizzle is a classy joint. I'm yeah. sorry. They Home signed $5 bills steak. and put them on the wall. We're not putting bills. money on the wall. Well, this oh. one's going to have private dining rooms, a meat display, and a chef's kitchen that spots spotlights their victories in a subtle way. What's yours going to have? Huh? What else? It's going to yeah. have good food. That's what it's going to have. And it's going to have a great host. Oh, good luck with that. It's yeah, going to have a great host <laughs> that's going to walk around making sure everybody's having a good time and a good meal. You're going to have a martini meat bar? We may have a martini bar. We're probably going to do table side Caesar salad. Okay. What the heck is a meat display anyway? It's going to look like a butcher house. It's going to look like that's a That's what Rave's nickname in high school was meat display. That's right. <laughs> What's up, meat display? Hey, there it goes, meat display. Hey, hey meat display. Meat display. <laughs> All right, I'm moving this your sports because doing the bull dance, feeling the flow, working it. Working All right, listen. It. Thank you, Mrs. Jorgensen. It was the teachers who called me that. I'm happy about the table side Caesar salad. We have buddy. a table side Caesar, which I think is important. Hey. I think everybody's going to enjoy that. Only if you have the lettuce that's not cut. It's like just the three slaps. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. classy. That's yeah. Cut it yourself. It. Exactly. Yeah. They bring out three slaps of it, and they, they, and they, they do a... Uh, no, uh, shaved parm. Shaved well, we parm do, right no, there, and then they walk away. No, we do table side Caesar salad. You have to have the anchovies in the Caesar. Yeah. They crush the anchovies at the table. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, they, they muddle the, them, the or paste. what is it called? Actually, they do like a paste. Live, right? Yeah, they were alive. They were alive about five minutes ago. We have a we have a, a tank. we have an anchovy uh, pond in the back behind the farm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy with a rod and reel, like tiny uh. rod and reel. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's that's me. Little tiny nets. I'm back there fishing. Aww. I'm doing my dream. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> and it's connected to Rizzo's dream. <clears throat> He's a fighter. Yeah, it's it's we have line caught anchovies. It's wild. <laughs> this is really nice. <laughs> you need to get a drone so you say they're flown in. How much is a Caesar, you say? $400. Yeah, it's, $400. it's just a, It's a toothpick and a piece of dental floss. <laughs> oh, we're having too much fun we got to take uh, one final break. We'll come back. Rack, uh, okay. Rap, okay. Whatever, man. Whatever. We're ending. Yep, yep. I'm so excited to be back here at Point Fest 2021. And for the very first time in person, after multiple FaceTimes, Josh from Bad Flower, dude, you're really Hello. here. You're a real person. You are a real I person. I thought maybe you were like a computer generated deep fake. You know what I mean? I mean, I do feel like an avatar most days of the week, so I think that's and the case. You, and you look like an avatar in person. <laughs> like you look like an avatar version Thank of somebody, you. somebody's real self, but that's your actual self. Thank you, that's exactly. Sponsored by BetterHelp. Now we all wish we had more time in the day. What would you do at an extra hour? I would, uh, I would nap. But maybe for you, and maybe get more work done or Maybe an extra hour to work on yourself. What's important to you? You should be important to you. And therapy can help you find what matters to you. So you can do more of it. As somebody who's benefited from therapy, talking to somebody can help you find the best version of yourself. And it doesn't matter if you've suffered from some sort of traumatic episode or you had an in-studio meltdown. I don't know. Or you just want to chat with a, with a third party. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. BetterHelp is entirely online. It's designed to be convenient and flexible and on your schedule. And it couldn't be easier. Go to betterhelp.com slash Riz. You fill out a quick questionnaire. And then you get matched with a licensed therapist. If you are not happy with who they match you with, that's fine. It's not a big deal. You can switch therapists at any time. No additional charge. So learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Riz. And get 10% off your first month. That's better help, H E L P dot com slash Riz. So, last time you saw the garage, the place was full of stuff. It was dirty, it was dingy. So, this is the inside of the garage. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep some of this structure here and then kind of build around it. And now, look. It's a house. So now we got siding. We got windows. We even have a roof and a patio. So let me bring you guys inside. Oh, hey, you want to come in? Let's go. 
it's night and day for what you guys saw before. I mean, this is an actual house now with rooms all framed at. But here's the cool part. We kept basically the frame of the old garage. I mean, that's all old garage. So this is going to be a bedroom, huh? Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm going to be sleeping right over here. Oh, let me show you my favorite part. The bathroom. And I'm going to be right here, you know. Let me show you the kitchen. Yeah, washing my hands at the sink. Let's see what's in the fridge. Nothing. Pantry. This will be the kids' room. I know it's dark in here, but this will be kind of a mud room after working in the field. Come over here, take off your stuff, washer, dryer. There's another bathroom over here that uh, if the dogs get dirty, wash the dogs off, and everybody's clean and can relax. Well, let me tell you about one of my favorite parts of the house. We even got a metal roof on this puppy. This is it, house is almost done. Well, I'm just gonna sit up here, sun myself, soak it all in, watch. Hey, Lewis, St. Louis City SC, uh, you know, City SC's official banking partner is of course Together Credit Union. You've seen the big TCU sections and boxes over and everything they've done over at City Park. And you, yes, you can get that exclusive City SC debit card from Together Credit Union, just like I have. Take advantage of everything that I've taken advantage of with the card. It gives you a free lifetime at My City Plus membership, in stadium discounts on food, beverages, and merchandise. And most exciting, that express entry into City SC matches. It's easy to become a member at Together Credit Union. Uh, and that's pretty much the only requirement for the card. Just become a member today. 15 area locations. If you're not already a member, get into one of those today. There's one close to you right now, wherever you're listening. Uh, 15 area locations makes it pretty easy. You can always go to the website too, get some more information there. 15 area locations uh, to get that City SC debit card uh, at the account opening. If you're already a member at TCU, you know all that they can do for you with uh, with the rates and the membership benefits and just everything that Together Credit Union is doing for our community and their members. But to ask them, ask them about that City SC debit card so you too can get all those benefits and the perks down at City Park. Again, no cost for the City SC debit card, so don't wait. Sign up today. Show your pride for St. Louis City SC. Go to togethercu.org. There's a big tour, big show coming to St. Louis uh, April the 1st over at the Chaffetz Arena. And I am very stoked for the very first time to be chatting with Co Wetzel. Co, you'll be at Chaffetz. It is the uh, the Road to El Paso tour part one. And uh, we're playing the song Creeps. And uh, it's really nice to meet you, Co. Hey, man, I appreciate you having us on. Thank you for, uh, for jamming the music, dude. Now, no, no problem at all. And we got a lot to get to here. But I, you know, as somebody that's kind of new to you and 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 what you do, what was the first music in your life that caught your ear that made you, uh, you know, that started to like kind of lay the foundation for you being a, a very passionate music fan? Um, I would probably have to say Nirvana. You know, I, I grew up on all kinds of music uh, and then I, I found out who, who Nirvana was in, in the eighth grade or seventh or eighth grade. And uh, I don't know, man, they just, they kind of grabbed, you know, Kurt's voice and the way that they, they put all the music together was, it was unlike anything I'd ever heard. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, I got to do this. <laughs> and so was it Was it that record? Was it Nevermind and, you know, In Utero, whatever, Nirvana yeah. in general? So that was the one that was like, all right, I want to do this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I grew up playing music, and but it was always, you know, country. All right. And stuff like, so yeah. then on top of that, Co, when did you... Yeah. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I apologize. But right. so when did you feel like, you know what, I can do music for my life? Like, this is something that I can do. I want to do this. I want to make a living doing this. Yeah, I think it was more in college. You know, I played and I wrote through high school, uh, played gigs through high school and stuff. But uh, once I got into college, I was like, you know, screw school, screw, you know, I played football for a little bit in school. And I was like, you know, I'm not gonna make it to the NFL. And I'm not gonna become a doctor. So uh, why not go get some free beer and, uh, you know, make a little money doing it, you know? So I, I saw that post. Uh, I think you made bath authority. Now, if your bath or shower is old, outdated as mold and gross mildew, or you got broken tiles, it looks like garbage. 
you got to call my friends over at the Bath Authority. Now, the Bath Authority provides the highest quality bathroom remodeling products along with a world-class customer experience. Modern, durable tubs, showers designed with an exclusive high-tech polymer liner. Now, what does that mean to you? That means it's all going to be low maintenance. It's going to mean it's resistant to mold and mildew, and it's easy to clean, and it's going to last for decades. Plus, you got a lifetime warranty with it. Walk-in tubs, replacement showers, tub-to-shower conversions, and more. Every unit is custom-built. You pick the premium accents. You pick the accessories, including safety features, like the low-profile showers, the grab bars, the shower seats. All Bath Authority products are 100% made in the USA and can be installed in as little as one day by certified factory techs. Call today, 314-347-0410. You get 1000 bucks off a new shower or bath, plus 36 months of interest-free financing. Again, call today, 314-347-0410. Schedule your free in-home estimate today. TheBathAuthority.com, a better bath awaits. I'm so excited to be back here at Point Fest 2021. And for the very first time in person after multiple FaceTimes, Josh from Bad Flower, dude, you're really Hello. here. You're a real person. You are a real I person. I thought maybe you were like a computer generated deep fake. You know what I mean? I mean, I do feel like an avatar most days of the week, so I think that's the and case. You, and you look like an avatar in person. <laughs> like you look like an avatar version Thank of somebody. You somebody's real self, but that's your actual self. Thank you, that's exactly what I was yeah. going for. First and most important conversation or uh, question of the conversation, how are you? Just vibe check, how are you feeling today? How are the emotions, it's I'm Point Fest? Good. I'm good, I've been so stressed out. Um, we're preparing for our headlining tour, our album comes out in five days. Mm -hmm. There's just like so much that, that has to happen around that. And uh, I stupidly take on so many things on my own and I don't ask for help. I'm like, no, I want to do this. I want to do the lighting for the tour. I want to design the say I want to do all this stuff. And then go time. Sounds kind of your logical. Uh, they're very busy. And they get busy in the month of March for a reason. Now, talking to Dr. Huatma over at South County Urological, uh, the month of March, it's March Madness. It's March Madness when it comes to vasectomies. So here's what the guys do. So you have uh, round one starting tomorrow, and you have basketball all weekend, college basketball all weekend. So guys will get their vasectomies done on Friday. They'll rest over the weekend. So no throwing the kids around, no yard work. You, it's your job this weekend to ice yourself down. Don't really move around a lot. Relax, watch basketball, and then you're back to work on Monday. South County Urological, Friday procedures, rest over the weekend, back to work on Monday for their vasectomies. Quick procedure. My insurance covered my procedure. How painful is recovery? Eh, minor swelling, maybe discomfort for about a week. And again, these are my experiences. Will your sex life be affected? I, no change in anything except the ability to have kids. South County Urological, 314-843-8000, southcountyurological.com. October at Point hey, Fest. Hello, hello. Hey. All right. Oh, we, sorry, I had to do that. No, that's all right. You do whatever you need. We're back. The next 10 minutes are all about you. Hey, Jeff's wife. <laughs> Just want to say hi, Jeff's wife. Hi, Jeff's daughter. I love y'all. So, okay, first and foremost. Um, we were talking to uh, to Will just a second ago. To you Will, were, you my were boy. Inter introduce me to Will. Yeah. I think one of the things that has become so apparent to me over time in meeting bands and talking to bands is that word chemistry. Yeah. and how absolutely positively crucial that that is. And you can probably even like someone personally, but maybe not have that same musical connection. And it's gotta be, it's gotta be all of that. It's right? gotta be all that. Ever. Yeah, you, you, you vibe with somebody, you can vibe with anybody, you know what I'm saying? But when you get musically, like the other night, take for instance, we played a show last night, and just backstage after the show, I was listening to some some cool Miles Davis jazz, right? Mm -hmm. And then I went to Bill Evans jazz, and he sat down with me, and for 30 minutes, we just started discussing how piano and, and jazz and, and the, the art of rock and roll make us feel. And just by talking to us at the end of the conversation, we were going, woo, woo, I love what we do. Yeah. You know, and then when we're on stage, Let's talk about first community and let's think about retirement. 
Now, I know something that some of you think this is what you do when you're older, but there's never too early to start your entire your investment in saving for your retirement. And with an individual retirement account that's an IRA, you could potentially put tax-deferred savings away for your retirement right now, and you're going to lock in some great rates. And trust me, when you get ready for retirement, you're going to be thankful you did this because... You know, having cash is not a bad thing. And you can also uh, open a health savings account to build a cushion for those unexpected or routine medical expenses, which this goes a long ways, and it helps you keep your money in order there. So First Community, they offer the IRA, and they offer the HSA. Again, that's the health savings account. And uh, there's no cost to you for these accounts, which is amazing. So you're saving there as well. And uh, there are some eligi eligibility requirements, but now's a great time to learn more about it. All you got to do is swing by any of their convenient locations. And trust me, they're all over town. Just look down the street. You're going to find a First Community Credit Union. So swing by there or go to firstcommunity.com. Pap, paps, be good to your daughters. That's how you know to be good. Cause some will turn to mommies when others will be daughters and dads. That's how your brothers can be mothers too. That was John Mayer. Daughters. Will there be celebrity guests on this show? Who does number two work for? Have you ever wondered what your boss's bathroom routine is like? Well, me neither. But we might find out today whether we like it or not on the number two show. In the wild ecosystem of the workplace, there's a unique species we've all encountered and have to navigate. The boss. Ugh. Just as David Attenborough would guide us through the behaviors of lions and gazelles on the African plains, let me take you on an office safari. You won't need binoculars, but perhaps a strong cup of coffee or a sneaky sip of the flask you keep in your top drawer, Frank. That's right, Frank. We all know about the whistle. In bad circumstances, instead of just selling you a car, the AutoLoan Pro... He's going to help you get your life and credit back on track. If you need a new ride, you're thinking, all right, I got to go probably this weekend to a dealership. I'm going to walk the lot. I'm going to have some sales guy, you know, hounding me. All right, fine. I want that car. Next thing you know, they grab you by your arm and they whisk you into the finance office. And you got a pencil pusher sitting across the desk. He's signing stuff, handing it over. All right, you sign this and you got a stack of paper. It's everything's so fast and so quick, you don't know what the hell you're signing. Then you go, okay, here's how much you owe a month. And you go, oh my God, what just happened? Making a big purchase with finance, it's complicated. Especially if you've had a hiccup with your financial situation. The Auto Loan Pro is going to help you out. He works with over 50 lenders to get you the very best financing. He will work his ass off to get you the best rate possible. Little to no money down. Anyone can sell you a car. It takes a pro to do it right. There's one thing to know if you're financing a car. Choose the Auto Loan Pro. AutoLoanPro.com, AutoLoanPro.com. Uh, well, big things happening in the 21 Pilots camp. And you know what? If you are going to talk about 21 Pilots, there are legitimately no better two people in which that you could call to talk about said band than our guys. Gentlemen, it's wonderful to see you again. Hello, and it's been a while. Hello from St. Louis. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it has We're been excited. a while. Man, it's really great to, to see you guys again. And the first thing that we want to talk about is the 21 Pilot Cinema Experience. Now, it's coming out on May the 19th. Uh, there'll be a special encore on May the 22nd. But I want to know, you know, this, you know, this experience came about a year or so ago during the pandemic. And I'm curious, the show was so well done, so well produced. How long did it take you guys to put that whole thing even together in the first place for it to run? I think it was probably, uh, I guess we were talking about it was probably like seven or eight months um, from, from the very beginning. Um, and it was, you know, I mean, the way that, uh, 
we sort of had to go about doing it. Um, we, we just kind of knew that um, because our, our live show is so reliant on people um, that, and, and once all that stripped away that we couldn't, we couldn't just, we couldn't just perform the way that we normally do. Um, so we kind of had to just go and reinvent the entire thing and, and sort of start from scratch. Um, and once we did that, then it kind of just, uh, you know, kind of, it, it just, we, we knew it was going to take a while to pull off. And, um, so, you know, it's, it, yeah, it took a good, probably eight months to, um, get all the logistics coordinated and together and, um, and, and make everything happen. So then for you guys, as far as the day to day goes during that six, seven months time span, so you guys are finishing the record or it's already done, but then the pandemic's going on. So there's a lot of things that are happening while you're putting this together. Was it something that you were working on? Cleaning, believe it or not, and you're not the only ones who are tired of winter. Your carpets are too. Now think about the dust, the dander, the bacteria. All that stuff is living and breeding in your carpet, your upholstery, your air ducts, and it's got nowhere to go. Now there's only one real way to get all the gunk out of the house, and that's by calling our cleaning heroes at Zero Res. With Zero Res's platinum rating cleaning systems and environmentally friendly ZR water, they're going to extract all that nasty out of your home. It's going to look and smell like a home should. Fresh and clean. With their no residue difference, it's what separates them from the competition. And with the Zero Res God of Love guarantee, you know they're going to take care of you. Just check out the 5,300 raving customer reviews online with a 4.9 Google rating and see what all the hype's about. And don't forget about your, uh, don't forget about your air ducts. <laughs> Your air ducts like the lungs of the home. If they're dirty, your air, your indoor air quality. So stop making me laugh. <laughs> Just so you know, Rafe drew a picture of a middle finger and said vacation time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give Zero Res their due. Yes, they're a great please company. Do. They're a great company. This please month, do. get three rooms Zero Resified from St. Louis's number one carpet cleaner starting at 119 Take $50 off your air duct cleaning and 20% off all upholstery. 314-474-2020 or go online anytime. ZeroResSTL.com. Say you want the ritual special. Spell backward or forward. Spells the same. It's Zero Res. Vacation time. All right, first big summer show of 2018. We've got 30 Seconds to Mars and Wellesley Arms and Walk the Moon and K-Flay. How are you? I'm doing great. It's really great to see you. Uh, I got to tell you this, though. Uh, it kind of changed up the interview from where I thought it was going to go. Uh, I want to know about the fitness regime in which <laughs> that you have, how you do it out there when it's 105 degrees, because I need to. Okay, so we've just started something. We're calling it Witness the Fitness. Okay. It's good, good branding, right? Right, right. We're off to a good start. Um, but basically, like, with with a tour like this too, we have a lot of downtime. Sure. So we're trying to we're trying to take like times when we can do bad things and do good things. Oh, very good. So you're just kind of keeping yourself busy more or less. Sort of. But then also doing something very good for your mind and for your body as well. Exactly, because I feel like one of the things there's like a weird cycle that can happen on tour where mm -hmm. you get locked into this like never changing like Groundhog Day thing. Sure. And this is a good way to disrupt that potentially damaging cycle absolutely so but i mean and also too though i mean you're 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 kind of uh you know able again to do something for the body as well as yeah you know, and it's good for the mind yeah yeah it's very good for the mind. you don't do well with downtime i'm assuming like as far as right. like you get bored probably super easy on i do get pretty bored yeah well what do you do like when you're not when you're not working when you're not touring i assume i know i you we've had this conversation before where i know you write a lot where you're always doing something mm -hmm. but but i would think downtime would almost be your enemy to a certain extent just for you personally you know what i mean you probably don't take it <laughs> this is like a therapy session yes. yeah yeah um, i'm good at that i have <laughs> i have trouble with quiet um so yeah, I'm working on that. I mean, yeah. for the most part, honestly, this last like couple of years has been pretty much work stuff, right? Pretty relentlessly, which is, I mean, I also just like making music mm -hmm. pretty fundamentally. So that that feels like it, it's always worthwhile, even if it's not going to be a song for me. If I'm just like trying to get better at guitar and recording riffs in my bedroom or something like yeah. that. Um, but I listen to a lot of podcasts. I read a lot. I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Big crossword puzzle fan. Um, I turned to the crossword puzzle game here recently, which is because it's never sort of been my thing. Okay. But then my two youngest like really got 
into it as the school year went on. So I found myself like actually buying like a crossword puzzle book at the grocery store in the checkout. Yes. Now I'm only a couple in and I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but it's a nice little challenge for the brain. You know what I mean? Like I find yeah. myself like actually probably using parts of my brain I wouldn't be using otherwise. Yeah, it's we, we've been talking about this. Crossword puzzles are like an interesting skill, a, like a very specific skill. I was raised, I was sort of like trained by my father to do them and be good at them. Mm -hmm. um, and he, so I started doing like the New York Times Sunday puzzle, not like I needed help, but as a young kid. And you kind of learn like, there's a language to crossword puzzles um, that you, you develop over time. So you, you kind of have to do them to be good at them. How, like a lot of really smart people aren't that great at crossword puzzles if they haven't done a lot of them. How young, like when you say you're doing this, like how young are you saying that you started doing it? I mean, well, he was always doing them, so I was around them, but I probably started helping around like, you know, seven or eight or something like that. I wasn't My very goodness. good. But, but still, I mean, yeah. to be even to able to, to be a part of that process and help in any way, shape, or form at seven or eight is pretty stinking impressive. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely so. I want to go back a little bit about the whole Grammy process, and I know you had a chance to talk to Lux mm -hmm. about this, um, but I want to know, like, how do you find out about something like that? When you do find out, what are those first couple minutes like? And then I can imagine the calls that you're making after the fact have to be some of the most fun and exciting phone conversations and calls that you've ever made. Yeah, um, actually. Time to get ahead of those spring weeds that are about to explode because the temps are now warming up. And so you should get ahead of that. That's why you got to reach out to Green Envy. They're absolutely amazing over at Green Envy. I've had them in my yard now, and I love having them over there because they will take care of that problem because they use products that are formulated for our soil, and they know what they're doing. And they know uh, our weather conditions, the turf types, so this stuff works and they don't use some generic, cheap, and effective product. No, they use that uh, formulated stuff for our soil right here. And what I love about that is I could trust them on my property because their employees are all screened. They have background checks performed annually. And they're service professionals that are commercially licensed applicators certified by the Missouri Department of Agriculture. There's no part-timers. There's no high school kids. These are real deal pros that will be on your yard to make it healthy, to make it look beautiful. So get that taken care of right now. Start this spring, and they're going to take care of it all summer long. You're going to have a beautiful yard, and you're going to be pleased. You reach out to Green Envy Lawns. That's greenenvylawns.com. Your chair at least stops. Mine just steadily, like, moves. So, so I that is it for us. First off, happy birthday, buddy. Thanks, dude. Enjoy your Disney vacation. Yeah, Thanks, please. man. We shall. Um, this, this is our, it's our 10th birthday together? Is the ninth? ninth I guess the uh, ninth. Yeah. It's been, it's been a lot. I appreciate all you guys do for, uh, for me on these, on these birthdays. I'm not a big birthday celebrator. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a very good gift receiver, and you guys always make it very, very fun to be here. Well, that was, you know, that was you guys. Yeah, that this. was special. Well, that's the sandwiches. The sandwiches, the sandwiches rose up and said, we want to celebrate Moon. So <laughs> thank the sandwiches. It's yeah. always food. Thank thank sandwiches. This time was, was sandwiches and, and, and swag that had to do with sandwiches. Uh, we've done that. You did that cake once. I mean, yeah, it's, we did it's the always cake. Food. I was for your 40th. You always feed yeah. me very well. All right, good. Well, happy birthday, buddy. It. Thanks, man. Uh, March Music Mayhem. The results are the in. The results are in. Foo Fighters versus Avenged Sevenfold. And what? the winner is? 54% of the vote go to Foo Fighters. Foo Ooh. Fighters moving on to the next round. Oh, Closer sweet, than though. I thought it'd be. Yeah, me too. So they'll be going up against the winner of the 11 a.m. matchup with Donnie, which is uh, Allison Chains and Weezer. Okay. And which town are we in again? This is St. Louis. Okay, St. Louis. so I think we know that winner. Yeah. Do we? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's going to be Allison Chains. Just wait. Yeah, because Lane Staley was born here. You didn't know that? Yeah, <clears throat> Kevin Nealon's his brother. He was born at Mercy Hospital on Ballast. I didn't know that. Yep, get that going on the internet. Uh, today's uh, <laughs> wrap-up is sponsored by... Sponsored by Jack in the Box. Jack Wraps. A little bit of healthy, a little bit of indulgence, only at Jack. So we could claim him as our own. St. Louis's own, St. Louis's own Lane, Lane Staley. Yeah. Wow! St. Louis Stadium. Don't look it up. Don't look it up, guys. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. But when Allison Chains comes, you just say, welcome back home. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. You see, when they first came out, they were supposed oh. to write St. Louis, but they misprinted it as Seattle. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but and they're like, fine, we just, just don't write. We don't it. have the money to change anything. Well, no, it's expensive. Switch that out. All right, today's uh, podcast is titled? The Little Black Box Training, because we had a bit of a meltdown today. What a day. And it what a went day. awesomely. What a day. <laughs> it went awesome. All right. It was great. We got to get out of here.
One uh, final thing, go. Can you feel the Punk Tonight uh, tickets available May 11th, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m.? And I just want to say thanks for all the b birthday wishes from every weirdo out there. Thank you. Learn. Just follow Moon on the socials. Go to Punk Rock Disney. It's his yeah, birthday. Dude. Do it. Yeah, man. Rafe. Hey, birthday. Vacation now. Thanks. Vacation time. <laughs> You'll be back Tuesday because you're going on a cruise. I'll be cruising. You're going to be so tan again. Be safe be on the cruise. Which Brian means... Bahama is going on the diarrhea barge. <laughs> and All right. Be Enjoy. Be tan, baby. Be safe on the cruise. Sweat through the bag, baby. Which basically means don't fall off. <laughs> Scott? Please. Yeah, follow Moon and uh, make sure to go over there and wish him a happy birthday, especially on his YouTube page. Um, uh, yeah, go wish them a happy birthday and give them a ton of comments. Story of the yeah. gear. If you're Story looking for that. Year. All right, we'll leave you with a selection from our teamers. Remember the day brought to you by Hot Shots from Centralia, Illinois. Eric Bushu is our yeah. teamers. Remember the day. If you want to hear this song, here it is. We'll see you on mm -hmm. Monday. Bye. Taking a couple uh, couple days off. Okay, bye. Energy up. The Rizzuto Show on 105.7 The Point.